it's Mr. Duffy. Welcome to Chemistry for today. Today our lesson is going to be about dimensional analysis or sometimes it's called the factor label method. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's take a look at dimensional analysis and the factor label method. Dimensional analysis is a way to convert from one unit to another unit. For example, if I have something that I measure in feet, dimensional analysis allows me to convert it into, let's say, meters. It's a way uh, to convert from one unit into another. To convert from one unit into another, we need what are called equalities. And we set those equalities up as a fraction, which we call conversion factors. Conversion factors are, again, fractions where we write one part of the equality on the numerator and one part of the equality on the denominator. And really, since, again, they're equal to each other, that's really just like writing a fraction of 12 over 12. It, when you're converting you're not changing your measurement you're just changing the unit and again it might change the number but three feet is still one yard okay so again you're not changing the actual value now for each equality though since um, we have two numbers two values in equalities we can write each conversion each equality as two different fractions so for example I have, if I have one inch equals 2.54 centimeters I can write that as two separate fractions depending on which direction if I, I want to go if I want to go from centimeters to inches or inches to centimeters so again two conversion factors for each equality so how do I choose which fraction to use well let's take a look at that on this next slide this next slide, we're going to convert from centimeters to inches first, and then inches to centimeters second. And I don't have any numbers there. So actually, I can just say, question mark, we're really just learning about how to set up our fractions, question mark centimeters to inches, or question mark inches to centimeters. So let's say, again, I have question mark inches, I could say x, but sorry, question mark centimeters. And then I know that my equality is one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Well, if I want to convert again from centimeters to inches, I'm gonna put that 2.54 centimeters on the bottom of my conversion factor here and one inch on the top. Now, that'll allow me to get the correct answer, but again, I don't have any numbers here, so I'm not really gonna be even solving a problem. But the reason why I set the fraction up that way is because then centimeters is gonna cancel out on this part of my equation and that part of my equation. You might say, okay, why again are those canceling out? Well, what we can think about is that this number question mark centimeters is really a fraction as well. It's just written over one. We don't normally write it over one because it's kind of re redundant. Dividing by one really doesn't mean anything, which is true. But when you write it that way, you can see that if something's on the top of one fraction and on the bottom of another fraction and I multiply them together, well, then those units are going to cancel themselves out. The numbers don't, but the units do. And that's what, again, dimensional analysis is allowing to do, is to cancel out units. So we'd go through and we would take our number and, again, uh, multiply across the top, divide by what's on the bottom, and we get our answer. Again, we're not going to do that this time because there's no actual measurement. It's just question mark centimeters. So you might imagine that going the opposite way would just mean we write the fraction the other way. And that is true. So let's say question mark inches and we're going to go to centimeters this time so I would put one inch on the bottom and 2.54 centimeters on top again what that allows me to do is to cancel out inches on the top and the bottom and solve for my problem again question mark inches would just be over one just like the last problem let's put some actual numbers to this okay so let's put some actual numbers to this First one is 125 centimeters to question mark inches. This is just like the last problem, um, but now we have a number to actually convert it with. So I have 125 centimeters, and remember that is over one, but I'm not gonna write it this time. And we remember our quality from the last slide that 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch my unit again of centimeters is going to cancel out so that just leaves us to actually solve for the math I go ahead and I get my calculator out and what I'm gonna do is 125 
I don't need to really multiply it by one, so I'm just going to do 125 divided by 2.54. It gives me an answer of 49.2, and the only unit that's left, 49.2, is inches, because centimeters canceled out. So that gives me a value of 49.2 inches, and that would be the correct answer. Okay, now we do our next one. <clears throat> our next one is 32 miles to question mark kilometers. Now this one again, we're going to set up kind of in a, in a similar way. We're going to start off with what we know. We know we've got 32 miles and we're going to set up a conversion factor, but here I don't have an equality. If we were in class, I would ask if anybody knows how many kilometers are in a mile. And um, <clears throat> the answer is there's 0.62 um, miles in one kilometer. So, I, I mean, you might, some people might know that, or there's 1600 meters, 1 1.6 meters in one mile. Uh, some people might know that from like track or something like that. So 0.62 miles in one kilometer. And again, I set it up this way so that miles cancels out, leaving us in kilometers. And then we can solve our problem again. So I would type in 32 divided by 0.62 and I get 51.6. 51.6. And my only unit that's left is kilometers. Okay. So that's how to make these conversions with actual numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video with this last question um, for you to try at home. We have 12 ounces equals question mark grams. And um, to do this problem again, you're gonna have to know inequality. There are 28.3 grams in one ounce. So that's gonna allow you to make that conversion. I'll write it down here again. There's 28 point three grams equals one ounce and I want you to try and make that conversion at home at the end of the video I'll put the answer so you can pause it work through the problem try it out yourself and then um, at the end of the video I'll put the answer so you can check your work okay so this is again dimensional analysis how to make conversions with one with involving one step thank you for watching